But this has all been building to the main event. The real reason we're here, Kurt Angle versus Samoa Joe. They're going to show both Angle and Joe backstage heading towards the interest ramp before they walk through the curtain. This feels like it's right out of the UFC. It gives it a huge big fight feel. Borash is going to handle the ring introductions. And that makes it feel even bigger than Dave Penzer just doing it from the floor. Angle's going to wear boxing trucks, trunks here rather than a singlet and no boots, just taped up angles. Uh, Joe's wearing his same usual ring outfit. Angle's going to notice Karen in the front front row and yell at her, get her out of here. Security walks over and she says, I came here for you. <laughs> and Frank Trigg said he doesn't allow his wife to be in the arena until after the fight is over. It can affect your confrontation, your concentration. Karen throws a fit and walks away. The match itself though, man, this is fun. And Frank Trigg is actually going to be helping out with commentary. And he says, I'm so much more impressed with Samoa Joe than I was before this match. Joe escaped and applies a cross face from behind. The crowd starts chanting. Joe's going to kill you. Somehow angle escapes. And then he gets the cross face back on angles. Going to power up hit Joe with the Olympic slam. And he gets a near fall that Don West comes out of his seat for and yells unbelievable. Angle slaps on the ankle lock right in the middle of the ring. Joe's teasing a tap out. And today is screaming. This is your career. This is your livelihood. Joe escapes and yanks angle by the back of the trunks into a rear naked choke angle grabs at the ref shirt the ref pulls away but in the process he dragged angle and joe to the ropes angles then going to grab the bottom rope and force a break trig calls this a great strategy on commentary and mike Tanay doesn't agree of course joe then throws angle into the side of the cage side kicks him in the jaw gives him a muscle buster and that's the pin Joe celebrates with the belt as his music is playing. He's going to hug his trainer, Davis. It took 20 minutes. And as you see, if you're watching on YouTube, there is a prone Kurt angle as you've never seen him with taped up ankles and feet and, and trunks, not a singlet. Joe wins. He's the TNA heavyweight world champion. The torch gave it four and a half stars. The observer gave it four and a quarter stars. Got to be one of the biggest moments in Joe's entire career. How big of a moment was it for TNA? Big. And and it's something that, you know, a lot of ways it's, um, well, going back to throwing back to the Cody story, you know, finish the story. Joe had come in, uh, what, two and a half years before, whatever it may be, and had the undefeated streak. And and, and when he transitioned from that, it was like, he's got to climb this mountain uh, to be the champ. It, it was, it was big. It, It was when you think back on, we'll call it the spike era. And I'm just trying to think of the prior champions, the list of TNA champions. Kurt won it the first ever slam anniversary Nashville. Oh, seven. I recall correctly. So now we are, you know, Kurt and then sting and then Kurt again, and then Samoa Joe here. So at this point, as far as the rebrand, This is the first homegrown. That's what I thought I remembered. This is the first homegrown star, you know, because Kurt and Sting are not homegrown. No, Uh, it it was big. It was really, really, really big. Again, it's, it's that momentum that as a brand that you got to build, but time takes time. And so, you know, had we done this a year before it wasn't ready for Joe. Or, or or AJ or anybody, but by this point, and Kurt, man, folks, go out of your way to watch this one. Yes. Just kind of watch that, that look and and take it in context. Joe had, you know, buzz all through people in minutes for a year and a half, and Kurt had been against me or Sting or a wedding silliness and all this, but. Kind of watch this story told and the roller coaster they took us on. It was really, really well done. And that badass Kurt, that is what gave the big payoff that Joe climbed a mountain and won. 